Now the biggest advantage of this method is we can estimate the value of different integral in which integrand is non-integrable function. Like here we have integrand sin x upon x. Clearly this is non-integrable function. We have a integration of sin x upon x between limits 0 and pi by 2. We have to estimate the value of this definite integral. We have to prove that this definite integral lies between 1 plus root 2 upon 2 and pi plus 2 root 2 upon 4. Okay. So, what we do? We first draw the graph of integrand function. Integrand function is uh, y is equal to fx is equal to sin x upon x. We have x belongs to 0 to pi by 2. So, we will draw the graph in the interval 0 to pi by 2. x belongs to open interval 0 to pi by 2. Okay. Now, to draw the graph of this function, we first check the nature of the function. A function ka nature kaise check karenge? For that we have differential calculus. Okay. This is differentiable function in this interval. So, we differentiate. We have f prime of x is equal to cos x multiply by x minus sin x over x square. We take cos x commons. So, we have uh, cos x multiplied by x minus uh, 10 x this over x square okay? and uh, in interval 0 to pi by 2 x is less than 10 x. We have a graph of y is equal to 10 x and y is equal to x. We know that uh, line y is equal to x touches curve y is equal to 10 x at origin. Okay? So, for x belongs to 0 to pi by 2 x is less than 10 x. Graph of y is equal to x lies below the graph of y is equal to 10 x. So, this is less than 0. Here cos x is positive because uh, x lies in first quadrant. So, derivative is negative that means function is decreasing one. Derivative negative hai to function kya karega? Function ka nature kya hoga? Wo decrease karega. Thik hai na? To hume yaha pe function ke nature ke baare mein kuch pata chal raha जो मैं ग्राफ ड्रॉ करने में हेल्प करेगा क्या करेंगे नेक्स्ट वी फाइंड लिमिटिंग वैल्यू ऑफ फंक्शन एट x is equal to 0 ओके वी फाइंड लिमिट एक्सटेंड्स टू 0 ऑफ sin x upon x दिस वैल्यू इज 1 दिस इज नॉट एग्जैक्ट 1 टेंड्स टू 1 बट वी राइट इक्वल टू 1 सो एट 0 वैल्यू ऑफ फंक्शन अप्रोचेस टू 1 दिस इज 1 ओके I have put here blank point because uh, this point does not lie on the graph of function because we have here open interval at 0. Okay. At pi by 2, what is the limiting value? We have uh, limit x tends to pi by 2 of sin x upon x. This is uh, sin pi by 2 upon pi by 2 equal to 2 upon pi. This value is less than 1. It has to be because function is decreasing 1. Okay. So, we have here x is equal to pi by 2 where value of function is 2 upon pi say somewhere here okay coordinates of this point are pi by 2 comma 2 upon pi okay now we draw the graph function is a decreasing one here also we have a blank point because this point does not lie on the uh, graph this is the graph of function function is decreasing one. Okay, right? Now, we have to prove that uh, value of this integral lies between these two values. This definite integral is actually area under curve for function y is equal to sin x upon x between x is equal to 0 and x is equal to pi by 2. We draw this line. Okay. Now, we have this area, area under curve. We have to prove that this area under curve lies between these two values. We this definite integral ki value ko estimate karna hai. Kaise karenge? Now, we consider this rectangle. Area of this rectangle is pi by 2 multiplied by 2 upon pi. 
which is equal to 1 and certain the area under curve is uh, more than 1. Okay. Suppose, this value is a. So, we have a greater than 1. Now, we consider this rectangle, bigger rectangle. Area of this rectangle is pi by 2 multiplied by 1 equal to pi by 2 square units and certainly area under curve is uh, less than uh, area of this rectangle. So, we have a less than pi by 2. Now, we have here rough estimation of uh, value of this definite integral, but we have to prove this. Now, here this value is more than 1 and this value is less than pi by 2. So, this is more accurate estimation of value of this definite integral. Kya karenge? We introduce uh, one vertical line through midpoint of these two points. Equation of this line is x is equal to pi by 4. Okay? This line meets uh, curve at point uh, P. Through point P, we draw horizontal line. Okay? Now, we consider these two rectangles. Certainly, area under curve is uh, more than sum of areas of these two rectangles. Take it, which is our way in the past equations. We divide karte hai? This width ko divide karte hai. Here, we are dividing it into two equal parts. Okay. Now, what is area of this rectangle? Height of this rectangle is f of pi by 4. What is f of pi by 4? putting this function x is equal to pi by 4, we get sin pi by 4 upon pi by 4. Kya aega? 4 upon root 2 pi. Okay. So, area of this rectangle is pi by 4 multiplied by 4 upon pi root 2. Okay. Dekho value aara hai pe. Pi gets cancelled out, 4 gets cancelled out. So, we have 1 upon root 2. Okay, root 2 upon 2 is 1 upon root 2. And what is area of this rectangle? Height of this rectangle is uh, uh, 2 upon pi and width is pi by 4. Okay, so, area is pi by 4 multiplied by 2 upon pi. This sum is uh, 1 upon root 2 plus 1 upon 2. This is equal to root 2 plus 1 upon 2. Together, LCM liya hamne. So, we have this value. And certainly, value of this definite integral is more than this value. Area under curve jo hai, wo in dono rectangles ke uh, areas ke sum se jada hoga. Na? Now, we consider these two rectangles and certainly, sum of areas of these two rectangles is more than area under curve, more than value of this definite integral. Okay. What is area of this bigger rectangle? Is rectangle ka area kya hoga? Uh, width is pi by 4, height is 1, okay. plus area of this rectangle, area of this rectangle is pi by 4, width is pi by 4 and height is this, this height is f of pi by 4, which is uh, uh, 4 upon pi root 2. Okay. Here pi gets cancelled out, 4 gets cancelled out. So, we have uh, pi by 4 plus 1 upon root 2, take LCM. LCM is 4 root 2. So, we have here value pi plus 2 root 2 upon 4. Area under curve is uh, less than this, but more than this. More than sum of areas of two rectangles, these two rectangles and less than sum of areas of these two rectangles. Together. So, here we are estimating the value of this definite integral in which integrand is non-integrable function. Hum apne estimation ko aur achha bana sakte if we divide this width in three equal parts, further in four equal parts, five equal parts and so on. But wahan pe calculations kaafi complicated ho jayenge. Thik hai? Let's take one uh, more question of similar type. Okay, now we have one question from ITJ exam. Question is, we have to prove that value of this definite integral lies between these two values. Actually, we is definite integral ke value ko estimate karna hai aur hume prove karna hai ki ye in dono values ke beech mein hoga. Kya karenge sabse pehle? We will first uh, draw the graph of integrand function. Integrand function is uh, f of x is equal to e power minus x square. We can check the nature by uh, differentiating this function. Aur waise bhi kar sakte hai. 
x square increases in 0 to 1, so minus x square decreases in 0 to 1. So, e power minus x square also decreases in 0 to 1. So, this function is decreasing 1 at x is equal to 0 value is uh, 1, e power 0 is 1 and at x is equal to 1 value is e power minus 1. So, we draw the graph of the function graph kuch is tarah se hoga at 0 value is 1 at uh, 1 value is 1 upon e definitely 1 upon e is less than 1 function decreasing hai, hai? so we have here point on the curve 1 comma 1 upon e so graph of function is like this you can draw the graph like this or like this main thing is function is decreasing one okay we draw this vertical line okay this is graph of function y is equal to e power minus x square now, the value of this definite integral is area under this curve between x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 1. We this area ki value ka estimate karna hai aur ye prove karna hai. Kaise prove karenge? We can have rough estimation. Area under curve is uh, more than area of this rectangle. Area of this rectangle is 1 multiplied by 1 upon e. Suppose uh, this value is a. So, we have a more than 1 upon e. And area under curve is less than area of this rectangle. Area of this rectangle is 1. So, a lies between 1 upon e and 1. Rough estimation. Okay? This seems to be more accurate estimation. Kaise laayenge? Now, generally what we do, we divide this width in equal parts. We can consider line x is equal to 1 upon 2, which will divide this width in two equal parts. Okay? But we have here value root 2. Jaga jaga pe root 2 value hai or root e b hai. Theke? Agar hum x is equal to 1 upon 2 lenge, to ye values reflect nahi hogi. To fir kya karenge? Konsa line consider kare? We consider line x is equal to 1 upon root 2. This line ko consider karke dekhte hai. Now, first we consider these two rectangles. These two rectangles are lying below the curve. Okay? And definitely area under curve A is more than sum of areas of these two rectangles. What is the area of this bigger rectangle? Kya hoga is rectangle ka area? This width is uh, 1 upon root 2. And this height is, uh, this height is uh, f of 1 upon root 2. f of 1 upon root 2 is, put here x is equal to 1 upon root 2, we get e power minus 1 upon 2, this is 1 upon root e. So, area of this rectangle is 1 upon root e, height multiplied by width, width is 1 upon root 2. Okay? Okay, then what is area of this smaller rectangle? Width of this rectangle is 1 minus 1 upon root 2 and height is 1 upon e. Okay, so we have here area 1 minus 1 upon root 2 multiplied by 1 upon e. Okay, so sum of areas of these two rectangles is this. We have here this value, RNA value. Okay. Now, we consider these two rectangles and definitely area under curve is less than sum of areas of these two rectangles. What is area of this bigger rectangle? This height is 1, this width is 1 upon root 2. So, we have here uh, 1 upon root 2 plus area of this rectangle. Kya hoga is rectangle ka area? Width is uh, 1 minus 1 upon root 2 okay? and height is uh, f of 1 upon root 2, f of 1 upon root 2 is 1 upon root e. So, we have this value. So, prove ho gaya ki is definite integral ka value, ye do values ke beech mein hoga. This is area under curve e power minus x square function uh, between x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 1 or uh, is area ko humne, is definite integral ki value ko humne is tarah se estimate kiya. Question aaya tha IIT J mein.